My goodness, I need like a quarter to start the thing, dears. Is, can we get, where's that, where's that nub who puts quarters in? We need some, can we get someone to put the quarter button? No, no, I, I'll find a quarter, one second. Let me get my purse. Danger! Oh, Scython, thank you, hold on. You miss Nub Maris. Well, he's always in all the other communities. I see him all the time. Just gotta explore all the communities. Hold on. Oh. That is the wrong fucking button. <laughs> this is gonna be a fun day. Twenty-nine gremlin alerts. What happened last week? All right, let's and don't forget Jeez. to meme responsibly. Okay, I won't forget. I try not to forget. Thank you, Past Echo. Guys, don't let me forget the parade. Okay, we have parade tech. Don't let me forget the parade. Oh, oh Jesus! Let's Jimmy. give me the red. What for me? Don't let me stuck in between the streets. Please stand your voted for substance. I'm Jimmy the Rat, and I'm Why is this a thing? Why can you Go donate for memes in between Rats streets? Oh, uh, that's, that's gonna get bad in a few years. Rats God Rats. damn it. I'm Jimmy the Rat. Oh, oh that's, that's gonna get increased in cost. My, we have to increase the cost of this. How much does this one cost? The increase the cost. <laughs> Where's the price of all these ads? Jesus Christ. Alright. That's a lot of rats. <laughs> well, I don't know why there's 29 alerts. <laughs> Have I been gone for a long time? Did you guys donate a lot during Monday's show? By the way, if you did not see Monday's show on um, Citrus Stream, um, it was a U-Realms live campaign. It had U-Realms live campaign energy, and I'm pretty sure I can do that every week. I don't think I need to, but Bubble Guts. Bubble Guts, are you going to log in today? Do you have time? Are you going to come... Mall walk. God, on Monday, Wimley went to w Wimley went walking around the mall for an hour, and then uh, let me. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what happened. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hello. You should go watch this stream. It's fun. You should. You know what you should do? You should go. This camera looks awful. Just. I'm gonna fix these cameras. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take some time. I'm gonna fix these cameras because I'm. I'm not talking today with all these cameras because it needs that warm Rob glow. Ready? Oh yeah, turn turn me into a tomato. Mm. Yeah, I love that tomato energy. This is this is like I went to the mall and I'm really warm energy. That's good. That's good. That's the color you want in your face. That's good. Hey, so today is my birthday. It's not. My birthday is August 13th, but for some reason it is my birthday. And last Wednesday was also my birthday because I may be the smartest streamer ever. I have created an infinite loop, potentially, where every Wednesday is my birthday. Um, this is obviously going to be make me very rich because birthday streams are always really good. I don't know why that's a thing, but also it makes it so there's no stress because usually I get stressed because every Wednesday or every well, Wednesday, every birthday stream, you got to prepare content. But for some reason, I don't need to prepare content. Scython, thank you for getting us started. Perceptive Earth, uh, thank you for the two years, dear. Bubble Guts, thank you for the host. It's good to see you, Bubble. I miss, I'm behind chat. Emu, thank you for the three, three, three. Flink Powderfoot, good day to you, sir, for 44. Cody, thank you for the host, my man. Sir Divibidib, thank you for the six. Um, there's so many uh, gremlin subs. I'm gonna always assume that if you're a gremlin sub, this is sneaky money. And the reason why you're subbing in between streams or giving me money in between streams is because you don't require a shout out and you're like, okay, Rob, 
I don't need this this hug. And so I'm gonna do it anyway. Dr. Blah, um, thank you for the $3.92 21 hours ago. I wasn't streaming. Uh, I hadn't said or done anything. This was a confusing time to donate. I have no understanding of the meta. It perplexes me. Um, please don't do this. Please do not donate when I am not streaming. Um, and it's random number amounts. You will drive me insane. This isn't a bit, okay? I want you to understand- uh, what? Why is this camera look weird? Right, just get out of here. Just get out of here. I'm not using that camera. I mean, I could fix it, but I'm just, I'm just not gonna fix it. I'm just gonna put it down. Oh my god! Is that the man himself? Look at this man. You know, I, I, I always like to watch you a little bit, Spliff. I like to see what you're up to, because you're in that exploration phase of your career. Ooh, ooh. But you don't know this, but you you were a little bit of an inspiration of mine, too. Quite an inspiration. Um, uh, you, you may be the reason why Monica flips coins, and that doesn't make sense to you, but it's such a very powerful idea to me that I do not have time to explain. Um, I do not. I mean, I have lots of time to explain, so I'll explain it, but I'll just do it over time. Hey, I'm going to talk to you guys about some cool things at 8 o'clock today. That's when the show starts. But the thing is, and I think a lot of you guys know, is that like once I turn on my stream, it's just really fun. So we don't even really like doing shows anymore. We kind of just like doing the content and, and the meta. And like we, we have a cool show today. It's called Deep Meta with Monica Rupert. Cue the bell. That's spooky. That bell's so spooky. You hear that bell and you're like, I feel spooky. What is deep meta? I am going to teach you. Hey, are you a content creator? How would you like to just become more powerful in your mind? I will do this for you at 8 o'clock Eastern. I will un I will reveal the meta. I, don't, I think that means, I think it's this sound. But what is meta? Do you know? What is meta? Now, I will tell you what Zombrew, a member of our Sneaky Mouse community, and also, have you seen his new emote? Guys, he has a sneaky snake. That is hilarious nonsense. Zombrew defines, he says this to me, he says, Oi, Rob. This is his character, Adam Burden voice. He'll be like, Oi there, Rob. I want to tell you that meta, according to Rob, is ERP. And that means erotic role play. Hold on, I'm gonna need a different song. It means erotic role play, Rob. You think meta is sex. Hilarious. This guy was just memeing on me. He doesn't realize how funny that meme is. Cause meta is love. And Monica Rupert, my goodness. <laughs> She's gonna teach you all about it at eight o'clock. It's gonna be sexy. It's gonna be scary. It's gonna make some of you cry. And you think that's a meme, but it probably will? I might cry. It's Deep Meta with Monica Rupert. This is non-content day, until it is not. But it'll be a non-con today. It'll be inspiring. Hey, do you want all this energy and love I have? I can give it to you every Wednesday. It is so easy. It is so easy. Oh my god. Mmm. Chase97 asks, how are you, Rob? My man, I'm feeling really good. This needs work. Can I please get out of COVID and get go to a barber? I mean, Megan did a good job with my hair, but I do not have to know how to stylize this at all. This, this. Vidku, get out of here, okay? You can't give me money now. I might emotionally break you later and then you have to give me money. So if I were you guys, I would just not give me money now because I'm doing one of the things where I'm like, Oh my God, Rob made me feel all these feelings. I'm so vulnerable to giving him money. And then Monica comes back on asking for money. Monica, don't you do that. Leave the mice alone today. Don't, don't bleed them dry, you vampire. Jeez Louise. Deep Meta is too, too grand. By the way, the year the rat ends next Wednesday. The bit is complete. That is fun. That's so fun. Maris, it's good to see you. Who else is here? I'm not even paying attention to chat, and I should. Because, guys, do you know what the best format for content is? Hey, are you a content creator? What is the best format? 
What is the best format for not just making content, but just enjoying your life and having it filled with love? Because you don't actually want money, <laughs> you dummies. Money is just time, right? You do a job for X amount of hours, and then you get stuff that lets you live your life to do what I don't know, whatever you want to do, which is probably feel loved. Maybe your love comes from art, maybe it comes from people, maybe it comes from love, art and people. Uh, maybe it comes from entertainment. Maybe it comes from relaxation. What? What is... What is it? Noddle, get out of here. Noddle, Noddle, the show's too late for you. It's at 2 a.m. Look, I will move my streams earlier to a different time zone. However, it's going to get ridiculous because I, I might end up moving to Vancouver. Maybe not yet, but in the future. And that's an awful time zone to live in. But unfortunately, I've learned the rules of how to make perfect content. And now I get to have my birthday every Wednesday because I'm stuck in the loop. Would you curse yourself to be old man Willikers stuck in the loop? Fighting the zombies day after day. Grinding for money and having public people abuse you. Uh... That was not a fun loop. Some of you guys probably get to be stuck in loops. Your day jobs. Um, you know, I'm hoping that I can make it so this Wednesday content uh, helps you, how inspires you. Um, I hope I hope I can be the digital bard. I was the digital bard for a bit, but then unfortunately things changed, and we have to tell that story next week. That's the year of the rat. Oh, we can't, we can't, we can't be here too long. We have to change memes. We're getting too deep already. Let's let's do something dumb. Oh well, there, Mr. Pikachu. And I'm gonna say hello to some people in chat. Now today we're doing Monica and Moogly. It's a Grand Theft Auto server where you know people treat each other with respect. Um that's like a requirement. Now you might be like, well come on, Rob, don't you putting down all the other servers? And I don't want you to think I'm putting down the QRP at all, okay? It's me home. I'm gonna keep coming back every time you say Rob. You put in, what, well, Rob, you don't like the QRP, this project hurts it. I feel very sad. You guys don't understand why I feel so sad. Because, like, I put over $5,000 in the QRP, guys. I bought all the icons. I love the QRP. Okay? But I've also realized that, oh, uh, man, more than, like, eight hours of roleplay a week is probably too much for a person. So I wanted to build a community that was less like that. And the idea was, okay, we do our little bits of role play a week. And then the rest of the week, we could just use the, the environment as a home for artists. And so like, dude, it's been a really great month and I have unlimited energy because I've had deep spiritual conversations with people during COVID in our work environment that doesn't feel like a work environment on the non-work days. So we can drive around in the city uh, that we work in and just be people. And this allows us to do things like hang out, you know? And what's interesting is Rob has all the power. So you can be in my city and I can play you any song or movie. That's powerful. I can dunk on you um, all day with memes. And for some reason, by doing this, I'm making content for later. I'm making puzzle pieces. If I make an image of like the old Wimbley Porn meme and then have a horse go, Meh! can I do that on this? Do we have that tech here? Video Wimbley Porn dot WebM. <laughs> we, we do have that tech here. Neat. If I can do this for everyone in our work, wait, was over here? Uh, when our wait, no, it was over here. If I can do this for everyone in our work environment, that's a damn good work environment. And so I am now the queen of chaos, and I can multiply people's passion. It is very fun. This is very fun. Why is Silent still a mod? Silent, can we have a talk? Get him out here right now. <laughs> like, where where is this guy? What what is going on with this dude? Ah, he is in a business suit. He is dressed for the mod job. What's going I on here? You are cute. Okay, they are very cute, Silent. Okay, he's a good mod. Silent, now you became mod for a meme. But being a mod is a big responsibility. And with it comes dealing with toxicity. 
there's gonna be you're gonna see messages that are just from toxic boys and i got a bad news silent i'm pretty sure we're gonna start growing really big as a community this is because i just know the meta and the nonsense passion i'm creating an artist is gonna multiply their passion which will make them popular and then i have now the ability to use 12 to 13 years of art assets music and skill to empower my friends and that's kind of what i do for a living today isn't my job this is not my job um i'm i'm i've wanted to do digital bards but man COVID hit us hard and so last year i i kind of changed my mmo my not mmo my, my mmo mmo not my job and um i really focused on you guys the community and focused on just doing stuff with you and focused on protecting my friends cheeto beating bandito becoming a cop was just to try to help my friends you know learn role play you know that's all and i've learned so many lessons that have and so much in my life and my life is now filled with friends and loved ones and um now I'm ready to be a voice for stuff. So today's gonna be a fun show, because today we're not doing anything. Today we're just relaxing and having fun. By the way, Officer Cheeto will still be around on the Crew RP, okay? I just, I, I will log in the Crew RP when I have free time and stuff. And what I would really like to do is start bringing Cheeto back to have like a party once a month where I just sing you guys songs. Can we, can we, can we sing a song? Let's sing a song. I like to sing songs, okay? It's cheesy, it's fun, it's dumb. Where's my pirate hat? Hey, wait, oh, we're off to sail the sea. And don't silent you even think about it. Don't even try to meme on me. Just shut right up and let me sing the song. Don't even think about memeing. I know it all along. And we shall be friends as we sail across the land. Singing a song while we dig and dig through sand. I said, Ahoy, me, Captain, look, is the treasure that we took. And I've gone ahead and sold it for this brand new silver hook. I don't care where I go, <laughs> as long as I don't go alone. So put down your sword and eat a banana with me, because the anchor's up and we got wind matey. Here we Go, we're off to sail the sea. And I think you'll all agree with me that this is kind of scary. So let's go. Even Silent off don't know. Ah, shit, he memed me. I, I didn't think he was going to do it. I was starting to turn the song into a meme on him because I thought I had scared him enough to not meme. And then he memed. Well done. Well done. Well done. I don't actually, here's the interesting thing, I don't actually care how the coin lands anymore. Heads or tails, see, I'm a role player. Uh, I have learned that ones are just as powerful as twenties to the audience. So if you know that, then you know the meta. So, might as well make some mistakes. You know, try not to hurt anyone with the mistakes, but I can role play some mistakes. I can learn from those. I may have done a few irresponsible ones, but I learned from them quickly. I apologize. I was trying to learn. There was nobody to teach me. I was all alone. Here we go. We're off to sail the seas. And I think you'll all agree with me that this is still kind of getting scary. So let's go. But where? I kind of know. So grab a map, get all the scrap in a boat boat that you can row. You kind of need a boat. You guys should have watched Space Squirrels more. Now get this guy off my screen before he memes me again. Get this guy out of here. It's... Also, he didn't even explain why he's a mod. This is, see, this is the problem, Silent. For now, now you've committed to the bit. You've committed, you've committed, accept it. Accept it, you're a mod for life. How could you not be a mod? You have to be a meme mod. You don't do any mod work, but you're still a mod. And everyone's like, why is Silent a mod? He doesn't do any mod work. And I go, well, he once memed that we, I had to make him a mod for like a dumb meme reason. And then we kept asking him, Silent, why are you a mod? And then like, he never really explained why he was a mod. And so then we were just like, well, he's a mod and now he's a mod. That's the meta, boom, solved it. That's that's the meta. That's that was that's 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 this bit. That is this bit. And you know what's cool is I know the meta, so I've told you, and now you get to enjoy the meta. 
Now you know just just silent. Just call me silent. So don't even say that just call me. He wants to be called silent. Silent, um, who you just call him that. He, you know why he's a mod. He's a mod because I don't know. We don't remember. And then he's been a mod because we're both role players. We're doing a bit. So now he's a role player mod forever. And you know what? He has access to video tech, and eventually he will start using this video tech against me. They all do. They all have the power, and now that I just let the meme on me, now that I am just perpetually Bruce Willikers and allow you to just troll me infinitely, I just want to be trolled by friends. Okay? That's it. Just, if I know you, then fine. Ruin my bit. Ruin my story. The order is different. It is not stories, characters, people. That was U-Realms Live. That was content creation when you're trying to make the best content. But do you know who makes the best content? Corporations. I don't want to be a corporation. If I was going to be a corporation, then I at least better make millions of dollars. So fuck it. <laughs> the, the, let's change the order. How about in our brain for a year? During the year of the rent, we change this order. It's going to be hard to do. It's going to take a lot of practice. It's going to take a lot of commitment. And honestly, you're going to slip. But what if you just changed your priorities in life and, I don't know, role played as Monica Rupert anytime you had to make a choice? I don't know. What if you just tried that? that Monica Rupert was a white hat character who was just lonely because I was lonely and needed to make friends because I wanted to make friends and what if you had the best day of your life in role play with your significant other there enjoying it the whole time and you realized you could get stuck in that loop forever you're clever enough you could do that okay okay we got, we got a lot to talk about a lot of nonsense but I'm not talking about that nonsense I got unlimited power I don't got unlimited time, so I want to hang out with you guys. Because the priorities have shifted. You guys saw it. I was just developing the language and also very vulnerable last year. Very vulnerable. So it took me a while to finish the bit. Ah. There we go. My goodness, it took me a while to finish the bit. So... I have nonsense energy. Do you guys enjoy my nonsense energy? I, if you don't understand, it's okay. I don't mind exploiting the meta because the priorities have shift. It is not stories, characters, people. You want to be a good content creator? You want to make content really good? People, characters, story. If ever there's a chance to make a relationship with a human being, fuck your character, fuck your story. Try it. Just try it. Just fucking try it. Just try, I don't care how good a content creator you are, okay? Look, are you brand new to content creation? Just do that. Just do that. Watch as you just excel, excel at what you're doing. Everyone else will just fall apart. But if you put people over characters, over stories, I'll give you an example. So, how many of you in chat actually watched Citrus stream this year? Or, or, this year. Wow, I am stuck in a loop. A Citrus stream on Monday. Um, it was so fun. Basically, it was the Wimley show, and Wimley, uh, went ball walking for an hour. And then he was called on duty. Oh my god, Citra. How lovely are pa- sorry guys, <laughs> my priorities have changed. I'm not actually making content for you. Like I said, people, characters, story. And it's interesting because Citra just had to share something with me that just gives me unlimited confidence going into today's stream, Citra, which I needed because today's stream is kind of scary. It's my birthday. Um, and I gotta bear some stress, but it's very light. God, this is creepy and weird and dumb, but you guys will understand. The priorities have shifted. People, characters, stories. On Monday, there was an amazing stream. It's called The Wimley Show. Have you wanted to see what it would be like if you could watch Brooklyn 99 live? Have you ever wanted to see what it would be like if I game mastered um, Grand Theft Auto, but also did not try? <laughs> But also, one of my super fans was the villain of the show. And also, the super fan was role-playing one of my characters. 
I mean, let's be honest, Biomart. It's your character. You just remixed my art. Isn't that neat? And I just helped you do it. Isn't that neat? And together, we did that nonsense in no time at all. God. It's not actually my birthday. What I mean by that is it feels like my birthday. It feels like, not even my birthday. I mean like, if, imagine if you could live the best day of your life in a loop. I think I can do it on Wednesdays. That's so fun. Mm. No, I think I know Monica's birthday. Monica's birthday would have been in the day the character was created. Rorman, thank you for the 30 months. Fidku for those five years and subs, you nutty. Nada with a three. Chase, I will take your Amazon money, okay? Jeff Bezos, give me that. Thank you. Thank you for Jeff's money. Son of a bitch. What is it? Yes, Danny? I'm back. What can I can I help you with something? When did you leave? Last oh. time I tried to rob you, you killed me. But this time, I have an accomplice. An accomplice. Steal your cheese. <sighs> I'm just gonna let him do the bit before and I kill press the kill guest button. Danger. And deliver it directly to me. Who is your accomplice? Ha ha ha. I don't, I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand what's happening, Danny. I, I kind of want to hit this kill Danny button. What? No! That's illegal! You can't! You cannot! This is cheating! This you. is cheating! He can't do this! How? This Let's is illegal, chat! Out. He's breaking the economy! He's breaking our roleplay economy that doesn't matter! Ha, ha, ha. This is an amazing thing he's doing that's proving points that I want to prove and he has no you idea he's walking into it because he's me. just doing a fun little bit and I'm remixing the bit to tell another story. I'm kind of telling it like it isn't. And the only thing upsetting me is that I don't have the song prepared. There is you can do wrong. Oh, isn't there, dear? <laughs> My goodness, Danny. That's so silly that you thought, you, could you know, you could again. steal this cheese. I could kill you again. But dear, I but am I the vampire back. queen. So there is one way I could deal with you. <laughs> Something mean I could do that would get rid of you. <laughs> My goodness. Let's see if this command works. Um, it's called Death Stare. And I use it when I need to get rid of a troll, Danny Dip. Mm, that's not the right command. Oh, is it a slash? Oops, I made a mistake. Or was that just a little bit of a warning? It was a mistake. I'm now disguising as a warning. I could have played it up, but it was just a mistake. And I don't mind revealing the meta. Because meta is love. And I love you guys. I love all the people who love my art. Unfortunately, I have to kill Danny, because he's beaming on me, and it's getting into a serious moment. Meta is just love, so if you have enjoyed my art over the years, go download it. <laughs> Isn't that right, Danny? They should go download it before next Wednesday. Now, don't worry, it's just a bit. I mean, that sounds so ominous. It sounds like I'm about to delete all your nostalgia. But I would never do that because Meta is just love. No, I use creepiness as a way to pull you in, to scare you. And in the past, I would keep you scared to just be selfish with my art. I was a selfish artist. I wanted to make you feel the emotions and then I would not relieve them for you, but I will relieve them for you. I'm not getting rid of my art. I'm just doing something fun and enticing. I'm setting all the videos to unlisted at the end of the year a rat just to do a bit. And then eventually we'll just let them all out. And don't worry, we have a list of all the videos. It'll probably be actually easier to find the videos than on my YouTube channel now, because we have a list. So that's like even better for you guys. But I'm being spooky next week to the YouTube audience who like doesn't actually value me. They just like my meme videos. And every now and then they have to come back and watch my meme videos to relive their nostalgia. And now, they have to ask Monica, because that'll be the only thing on the YouTube channel for a bit. Um, I'll make other videos later, but unfortunately, my priorities have shifted when it comes to content. It goes people, 
character's story. And so I don't really have time to make videos. There's too many people I need to help be empowered. And I kind of think with this vampire roleplay that I'll probably just be okay to do it. Maybe I'll have to move and downscale lifestyle or, I don't know, get a job. But if I did, then, I don't know, then this is a hobby where every Wednesday, it's my birthday. And I get to spend it with my friends, helping them make content. Hmm. Heads or tails, it looks like 2021 is a good year for me. Because either I'm about to ride my radical wave that I have summoned, or uh, I'm just retiring and not. Because I've turned my job into a hobby. Fun. What a fun meta meme. So who are you going to vote for next week? Who's running? I think we know who why we know one. Can we get the campaign aid? <laughs> by the way, just so you know, meta is love. So if ever you feel really spooked out by my stream, hold on. If ever you feel really spooked out by my stream, eh, reach out to the Discord. I'll just spot now get the spooky song out of here. Just, I'm not set up to do spooky stuff. I mean I am Hi! just Oh god, Jimmy. Um, if ever you get spooked out by my meme, or you want to know, like, the messaging behind anything I'm talking about, eh, just reach out. I, I will try to take time to tell you what's going on. I, my time is so limited, because what happens is I don't take enough time to rest. So I end up overworking. I end up overworking because there's so many people to love. And so what happens is people end up being a little too greedy with my time. And I'll do something and I'll give them a lot of my time so we can have a, a, a big talk. And then they'll they'll need more and more and more and more and more time. And the thing is, that's fine. I understand. I just try to really teach people like, man, I, I'm, I'm, I'm working on something. I'm working on an idea now. Because what is my job if this isn't my job? I don't know. That's 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 interesting, isn't it? You're voting for Tussie? I'm not voting for Tussie. Grum would make a bad mayor. I've said it. I've called him out. He's, he's, I, I was, I was Jimmy at that debate. Tussie, Tussie over, I want to pick Mort. Mort and Harold way over Tussie. Two mayors are better than one. They had a song, Grum. Get out. Get out. You didn't campaign for three months. You don't get to be mayor. Mort should have been mayor. He had a song. I remember his meta because I loved it. And I loved Mort. Did you guys know Mort runs a knife company? Do you guys know Mort's meta? Mort's meta is I kicked him out of Monica Rupert's knife company. And when I did, I made sure he knew that it was just role play and fun and that he was totally welcome back. But, I, but the thing is, he was doing the knife bit so well that I was like, why don't you just be a knife salesman? You don't even need, to, you don't need Monica anymore. Just... You can be in this for if you want, but you could just go make your own knives and branding because that's what you want to do, Mort. And so I literally kicked him out of the company for the fucking RP of it. It was so funny, dumb. Like, it's not like I like the thing is with that Monica bit back in 2019 is it was always like a role play reverse trap where you'd come in and you'd go like, oh my god, you signed such a terrible deal to role play and have fun role play for half an hour and get a guided tour where all, with all your houses and cars. I love new role players because I will walk up to them and I will just be like, hey, do you want me to awaken your mind to role play? And they'll just go. No, thank you. Well, you do. Well, what do you want me to do? I'm revealing the meta. Look, Chino Bandito was a shield. Chino Bandito was because I was taking a break off for a year of content to just make friends because I was lonely. Okay, that's what I was doing. And I and like I was trying to do digital bards for my fans, and then we hit COVID, and that was just so hard. I had no energy, and so my choice was like make good content or support my friends who are drowning in roleplay. Like you guys are we're drowning. Right? Role like what is role play? How do you do good role play? Everyone thinks good role play is like the ability to improvise. Nah, you dude. 
Good role play is your ability to make good relationships. I can prove it. You realms died. <laughs> no matter how good those characters or stories would be, because the relationships weren't maintained, it sucks objectively. I don't care how good the story was. It could have been the best story of your life. I don't know. Wednesday's story was better. Dude, Wednesday's story? Not Wednesday. Monday's story. Citrus stream. Okay? Here's the bit. I was stressed out. We've just been doing this Tilly project, and there's way too much passion in it. And I'm like, everybody is like overworking me. And I'm immediately going, wow, this is U Realm's live level of energy and passion. And um, I'm about to burn out. So I was like, how do I meme on these nerds? And so I was like, I'm literally gonna create a campaign that slows them down and make it like a lesson that they will be set up to fail. I gave them so many warnings, both in and out of game, told them what to do, told them how to people over characters over story. And they would go, yeah, people over characters over story. And then I would enchant these nerds. It was a role play spanking. You, you guys don't understand. You should have to go watch the campaign. I wish I had time to do behind the scenes, but I don't. Instead, I'm just going to focus on people and I'll just, you'll see this nonsense over time. I don't have time to explain it because I'm not really doing content. I'm helping people learn how to do content so they can also become teachers. Oh, the nonsense we're weaving. I did a Tower of Ultimate Wizardry campaign on Monday. Here's the bit. All the cops got a brand new police station. They need to learn the police station. So, I decided we'll do what's known in the industry as a bottle episode. Now, bottle episodes are funny. Um, in most TV and show productions, the reason why you do a bottle episode is because you uh, don't have enough production costs to do one. But in role play, you have literally unlimited production costs. It costs the same to film something on a beach that it does in, you know, a police station. It, it doesn't matter where you do it. It's all digital. So you don't need to do a bottle episode, except a bottle episode is really good for slowing everyone down. So, I decided to kick everyone ass in roleplay and just make it so they're going to agree to things in the lore of the world that they definitely shouldn't. Now, Monica Rupert is established a billionaire, but how powerful she is is not up to me, because as some of you might know, Monica Rupert technically is becoming a public domain character. Um, I announced in the 2019 Christmas special that she's going into the public domain. Well, all my art before 2020 is going to my public domain in five years. So it's interesting that I'm still building up characters that I'm giving away, right? That's fun. That's interesting. It's very inspiring. All of you get to own this character, which makes me powerful in role play. Because if meta is love, then in role play, meta is a weapon. Because usually in role play, if you are people over characters over story, your goal is to entertain your friends. So at first, you're level 10, you're Cheeto. You want to make people laugh. I think that's the most fun role play on the QRP. A lot of you and there are peers on the Kurapi. I know you guys have, there's so many different types. There's action, serious and stuff, but like truly the most relaxing, fun days are those days where you get to hang out with some of your favorite role play friends and they're light and goofy, right? Those are some of the most fun. So it's like, but how do you do all those serious stories and other things? Cause there's so much to experience and learn. Well, it's, you have to build all those relationships first. And you really have to be people over stories over characters because you see last week we did a bottle episode Monica Rupert apparently owns the police station She said one line and all the police accepted it So because she said that I decided to just set up a bit where the push of a button It would do the initiated command. I don't even know what this will do if I press it right now Initiated. Oh look, it's just gonna send it into chat. That's interesting. That's just amusing nonsense It's just posting the teleports and the spawn objects of 
walling them all in the new police station so all the cops get to spend all day exploring the police station because I guess Monica Rupert owns the security of it so I guess she's just locking them inside but really I'm just locking them inside to make it so we could do a bottle episode so I don't have to stress if everybody is in one spot and we're just doing you're listening to tapes of a crazy terrorist character then that's fantastic that's that's so lovely fun for my friends and I didn't have to do anything new because I was just doing Tower of Ultimate Wizardry bits. Me and Bio spent 30 minutes doing it. I edited up all the clips 30 minutes before the show. It was easy, but it was such high level content and everyone was enchanted and had so much fun. Go watch the streams if you don't believe me. If you love the energy here, I create it now for other people because I don't make content. I'm people, characters, stories, and I'm trying to teach that because I'm kind of making a company of roleplay vampires, of teachers of roleplay. That's really what I'm doing now, okay? And isn't it funny that even after I told all these cops lots of meta and warned them of people, characters, and stories, not a single one of them spent the day with my good friend Hive Queen. And she was a brand new cop. It was her, it was her character's first day in, the, in her city and she was locked in the police station with everyone. And all of these cops who knew the meta it is characters or I don't know what well, I'm getting confused people characters story they were too enchanted by well this song that you're being enchanted to come on guys you got to get immune to this this is what Disney does to you they make you listen to your nostalgia over and over and over again and you have to become immune to it so I'm going to make you guys immune to it by revealing all of the meta all of the things that happens to your brain when you hear artwork so that you can just know you're being enchanted because at least you're self-aware and you're choosing to stay in the loop that's much more beneficial because there's so many people who watch streams and videos all day who need to stop to be perfectly honest eight hours of content per week is actually probably still too much i need to do eight hours of content because there's a lot of rp people to feed but you probably need to spend less time doing that and more time making friends i cannot be your friend i probably already have all my friends i might meet some other people that i really need to make my friend but i but i probably can't be your friend especially if you're not watching this today or you're watching this in another time? My goodness, the dualities of these timelines is often bewildering, I believe is the meme that connects to this at the spooky part of the song. Because if I say something nostalgic that I meant to say all along, if I can rhyme it to the timing of the song just by improvising, then that's enchanting. And all of those cops were so enchanted that they ignored Robin. <laughs> a powerful Twitch streamer that they would want as a friend if they were trying to do this full time. But my goodness, they fell for Monica's trap. And so there was one person paying attention to Robin, it was me. And so I would whisper the meta. Nobody would give Robin a moment in the spotlight, so I would tell her stories. And I'll tell you the best meme of them all. Enough spookiness, you guys have been spooked out a bit. It's time to just make it fun. The best meme of the night. Besides the ones I did. The best meme of the night. Here's the riddle. Biomart, I need the riddle. I don't remember this meta. Uh, we had a riddle, and uh, what's cool is uh, we made the riddle so they can be played in any order, because then riddles are like puzzle pieces. I've done this stuff a lot. Um, and so this was a very easy show to do. And what's funny is it sets a precedent. Monica Rupert can bring down the, the security doors and lock everyone inside. What's funny is this stream actually ended with, uh, hey, Levito, what's up, bud? This stream actually ended with um, Monica coming in and being like, oh, this test was supposed to be next week. And what's funny is the last puzzle was the button puzzle where you have to not press the button, but that's not how they solved it. Because again, people over characters over story. I decided, I was doing the, I was playing Mr. Robot. Hello, I am the butt five minutes remaining. Four minutes and 30 seconds remaining. And over time, they weren't really getting it, especially because too many people were trying to be the main character, and I believe the main character is Wimley, so they may not have been people over characters over story yet. Luckily, I've created an environment where I can have them make mistakes and we can talk it out. We can, we can improve on that. 
So unfortunately, I whispered so many fun things to Robin, and one of the funniest things is this meme. Um, I wish Biomart was in chat, because he would remember it for me. We had all these riddles. I don't know where my browser is. Like, wh where is this nonsense? Here we go. Was What was this campaign called? Dark Metal? God. I do live U Realm streams without um, dice on Mondays. What nonsense world am I in? It's the easiest job of my life, too. Um, so this is this is the puzzle, okay? So I have all of the police, all of them, in the jail cells, and the the criminals are behind bars, okay? Every character is in this scene, and I'm like, this is the time we're activating this puzzle piece. And so I played the tape because the cops are getting tapes, and they keep finding new tapes. They're locked in the police station. They think there's a guy with a bomb that's gonna blow up. It's really actually just a test for new cadets. And by the way, did I mention that I was the person who invited Robin to be a new cadet today? <laughs> these, these guys really aren't ready to meme with me. Um, anyway, so the, the, the clue was, Forgive me if this one sounds a bit rude, but for this next tape, you'll have to be, four will have to be in the nude. This is funny because it's kind of a fourth wall joke, but basically the cops all thought we have to get naked. So if you see the clip, all the cops take off their clothes, and then, my goodness, Monica whispers to Robin and says, wait, dear, isn't there four showers? And so then Robin, the new cadet in front of a bunch of smart detectives who are all now naked says, wait, isn't there like four showers? Get dunked. Just get dunked. That's, that is hilarious. Like, it, Imagine if your friend did that to you. Imagine your role. Imagine you. He, they got you all your detective roleplay buddies. They put you in a box, which, by the way, the wall was hollow, so they could walk out the wall. So if they walked out of the wall on stream, they'd be embarrassed. They'd be like, "Oh shit, I walked out of the box." They'd be like, "You walked out of the box." <laughs> But imagine your good friend makes you get naked in front of all your friends and then the person that you've kind of accidentally been ignoring today and you really needed not to because it's it's their first day on their character. And when it's your first day on a character, you need to be included in the stories or else you feel left out, you know? Robin's amazing. Robin would have just had the time of her life just watching the whole day, you know? Like she's such a good relationship builder that she doesn't take, she doesn't have FOMO or like take slights from that. She really doesn't. She's she she would have just been the whole day. She would have just been happy that she just got to see the story unfold in front of her. But nah, nah, we made it fun. We made it so you know the one person who isn't a detective keeps solving things. Because the thing is, they weren't really thinking people over characters over story. They don't have the trust with me yet to realize that. I don't give a shit about my puzzles. If they come up with something that's even remotely as good, or God, if it's better, I'm gonna make that the answer to the puzzle. So many of my puzzles were solved with the answer that wasn't the answer. I would like they would, they would I would say a clue and they'd be like, it's Bobby Boggs. And so I would fly up to Nora and just be like, my goodness, why that's not my voice. My goodness, Nora. Or what I say, my goodness, Bobby, don't you have a tape? And you gotta understand, Mac and Jack is a meme pro. Nora, Nora knows how to roleplay. When Nora showed up to the crew RP, Nora was one of the best people there that just didn't have the confidence and the power. That's it. Er, like, admit it. Anybody who's roleplayed with Bobby Boggs, Bobby Boggs was like, damn, I love Bobby Boggs. Yeah, Bo Bobby Boggs was a smart ass character. It was, it was a genius character. And Bobby Boggs knew what to do. That's all I had to whisper. It's it's improvised. So they, the, the detectives decide, also the detectives keep instantly solving things. My goodness, you have to consider there's a man behind the scenes pulling the curtains. If I give you a puzzle and you solve it in one minute, you're driving the four hour story too fast. This is a collaborative effort. Instead of trying to solve the puzzle, solve the meta. What is the best thing you could do that would beam the shit out of Rob? That's, if you're not doing that, then this is too easy. This is, it's great for teaching though. It's great for teaching people what we should be doing in roleplay. God, I think Grum had a tape. Grum had a tape and I gave Grum a plan. And then I also was like, eh, Grum, we're not doing that plan. And then he went with that. <laughs> Sean had a tape. Dude, Sean, so here's, the cops like immediately solved the bank robbing thing. And I was like, you guys solved that too fast. So I go to Sean, I'm like, Sean, Sean, uh, just go get the tape in the vending machine. <laughs> 
because they they're going too fast. They're not being slow. They're not being slow so much that there is a literal movie. You'll see it tonight. You can see it then when I put them to sleep because I'm so aware they're going so fast. I had to make a movie that I made to inspire Reggie, but also kind of made it because I needed a way to put them to sleep to slow them down. These coppers. God. It's too easy. No offense, guys, because, like, I love all of you, but in a lot of ways, the crew RP in most roleplay servers, to me, is like a level 10 roleplay dungeon. And I don't really know what level I am. And now I'm like, hey, I'd like to just try some level 20 roleplay. And also, hey, I'd like to try be really healthy. And also, hey, I'd like to be really progressive in our views on everything. And we're going to talk about some stuff today. Um, at 8 o'clock Eastern, dear, but not right now. Right now, it's... We've been talking enough. We're just gonna hang about a bit. Hey, you guys want a hat? I gotta turn off this tech once we get into the city. I need to redo it. So we got we gotta use this tech a bit. Um, I have I have found the solution to unlimited energy. So I'm, I'm gonna here you go. You guys want to be a sunflower for me? How about a pink one? Pink sunflower. Who wants to be a pink sunflower? Who will throw away their hat for the sake of just a pink flower? Pink sunflower for the moment. Because I mean, do you really care about the story or character of your mouse? Or would you rather live the moment with everyone in chat and be like, you know what? I'm going to take the pink sunflower hat right now. I'll actually like my hat, but you know what? Fuck my story. Fuck my character. It's all about the people. It's always been about the people. B Rob, why was it always about the people? Why, do, why am I just figuring it out? I don't know. Why am I just figuring it out at age 30-ish? I don't know. If you had already known it was always about the people, you smarts. Well, you need to develop more language to echo that sentiment, because you're right. You know the meta. It's always been about the people. It's just so easy in roleplay to get enchanted by the story and forget about the people. It's so easy to be selfish. Which is why you have to train yourself to be Dumb. Hi, I'm Officer Cheeto, and I was created by, well, Rob and technically Monica Rupert. If you want to be weird about this roleplay nonsense, fly, get out of here. Uh, dude, there's a fly. <sighs> Just shield my friends, because, dude, I used to be a criminal, and by being a cop, that means I'm no longer Cheeto. Dude, I don't want to be a cop. Why would I want to be a cop in 2020 in American roleplay as a Canadian? Shit, dude, that's weird. Also, like, when everybody in real life is evaluating the police, maybe people in roleplay should evaluate the police. Like, no offense, guys, but fuck art if uh, the people behind the art are shit people. Is that fair? Like, um, if your favorite artist is a shitbag, then why would we give them a voice? All art is valid, okay? If, if I was to just do anything, here, I'm gonna give you an artistic performance that is as good as U Realms Live, okay? I'm going to flip two coins at once and catch neither of them. Wow, that piece of artwork that I have just, well, I didn't create it, you have to clip it. When you clip it, you will have created the art. Um, and like, that is just as valid as U Realms Live. Now, U Realms Live took a lot of effort and time, sure, but I mean, if I was being really selfish about it and like only really telling my story, like, dude, I used to make it so my, the people in the cast would make cool characters they would fall in love with the characters, build the character minds over the course of a whole day, and then I would take the characters and next week make them kill them. Now the audience loved it. This was great content. But I mean, like, that kind of sucks for like the role players who are just like, hey, your character now belongs to me, rap. <laughs> I didn't know I was doing it, dude. I was just trying to make a content, right? But that's, if you, that's actually what's happening. And we do that all the time on the crew RP accidentally. And I've kind of just started realizing that, you know? Um, if you were to fire Cheeto Bandito the cop, that would hurt the city. You would be killing Cheeto the character. Now, maybe he would evolve into another way, but the time where Cheeto and those stories you could do with him would be over. You would never get to do him again. Because in this roleplay environment, it is like life. And so it, it's almost unhealthy in a way to even kill your character if it can never come back. Why would you grow this piece of artwork in your mind, finish it, and kill it? 
when it still matters so much to other people. If you if you killed a character in Crew RP, you probably felt the fucking drain from the community if we loved you. I went to funerals last year because we wanted to do higher level roleplay, and I put on the sad music and performed my sadness. I can do that if we're going to do that level of roleplay. And the only reason I did that in, in the funeral days for you guys, the only reason I would come and perform at that deep level was because everyone in the community was sad. And so it was very powerful for me to just perform being extremely sad and then be lovable goof Cheeto so you guys can be happy again. But you have to understand that it's still sad for me. It was really sad. Uh, don't worry, music. Music. You taught me. Remember what I was telling everybody in our new project, Tilly? You guys made mistakes, and I would learn from those mistakes. Because in that environment, I didn't mind bearing that stress. I, You guys literally built me for stress. My community has built me for stress. I'm not a storyteller. I create moments. Like, if you've been a fan of my career, you might look and be like, yeah, but I love this and this and this. And it's like, do you or do you love those moments in time where there was just so much hype and energy that it created a passion in your life? I, I, I don't think I should tell stories. I think I should just create moments. And so if I'm going to create moments, I should probably create moments for other people. I, I think I'm a party clown for you guys. I think that's what it is. Everyone in my chat, there's no way I can get you involved at the highest level of roleplay. But honestly, if you're a part of this community and you, you make friends in their, our greater community of all of our other Stinky Mouse pals or their friends or whatever, then all you really need is one person who can be like, hey, I'd like to create a special day for so-and-so. They've been a super fan. Can we make him the main character in Tilly? And I'm gonna be like, oh, for fucking so-and-so? God, they're great. I can't believe we've never done that for them yet. Yeah. I've been telling Citra, I'm pretty sure we're birthday clowns and we just haven't gotten there yet. Because if we act, because the thing is, if I make a delash, imagine if, imagine if I, you knew what U Realms Live was and, and like it hadn't happened yet. But then I went into that inner, that entire dimension with this level of thinking. Neat. 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 I'm so excited to get sneaky RP for you guys. Like, I, like get involved. Does somebody have the Discord link? I will find it because your time is just as valuable as mine. But if you guys can help me out here, then my goodness, you would be giving me some of your power. That kind of makes me a vampire. I'm kind of stealing your time from you. Mm, I hope you don't mind if you feed mama. So she can talk about, um, other big things, and that's at 8 o'clock. Is it time to get in the city? I'm sorry. All the European, uh, um, friends, they don't get to get involved. But we, we had to talk about stuff. But let's go have fun. Let's go have fun. I can do this every Wednesday for you guys. The parade button? Alright. Anybody who would like to give money and be the parade, do it now! You have until the count of ten! Ten. Seven. Nine. Eight. Seven. Nine, six, four, five, four, four, two, three, five, two, one, one, five. Scython, Mike, thank you for committing to the bit, but you guys already donated. You're in the parade. Why would you donate? You're already in the parade. That doesn't make good. Connor, you are also already donated. Guys, you can't be in the parade more than once. It doesn't. There's no. Now you're just now you're just putting money in for no bits. What are you, what are you doing? Supporting an artist you love? How dare you do that? How dare you? Just enjoy your parade now. I'm done doing this bit. And I'm, don't forget to <laughs> meme responsibly. I I is I, I'm pretty sure that's all I do is right, Monk. I'm pretty sure all I do is meme responsibly. You know. This, my week changed because one fan last week did something extremely brave during my show. My week was completely different um, because one fan did something super brave. And my goodness, you'll understand that meta at 8 o'clock Eastern. It's such a creepy ass show. Do you guys, do you guys trust me as a creator that it'll just be fun? Um, it'll just be fun. I, I might make you cry. If you're not, if you can't bear emotions, if you're like, man, I'd rob, I don't need an emotional breakthrough today. 
I don't know. Watch the VOD. Go, go, go take the day. Just, just relax. If you're European, don't stay up late for this nonsense. I'm gonna do it every week. I know I need to move my times a little bit, okay? I don't know. I'm, I'm working on it. But if you're gonna master the light, well, my goodness, you have to sleep at night. Bubbles, what are you doing? You wanna support me, Bubbles? Then get involved, sweetie. I'm trying to get you involved because I know you're a cute, awkward girl who's struggling to make friends, Bubbles. And like, struggling to find your content. I'm gonna embarrass you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring you out here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring her out here. You're missing mall walk time. Who, Jimmy, get out of here! Get, get out! <laughs> Did we break the hat too? Now I can't bring Bubbles out. You guys have, Jimmy broke the stream. Alright, I won't embarrass Bubbles. It's really hard to embarrass you, okay? It's time to turn off the mouse tech. One of these days we'll have the mouse tech back for uh, the content, but uh, right now it's not about content, it's about people. Isn't that interesting? Changes perspectives. Oh, Ridgie! Sorry guys, people over content, I may have to leave you sometimes to just, uh, type something out. What, which one of these songs do I want to click? This one? Nah, ah, oh, shh. Guys, let's not do that meme. Um, let's close this. What's, what, I'm gonna look see what Megan's John. What are you John, Megan? Oh, Megan's working on something cool. So Megan is working on, um... Oh, 69. All right, all right, all right. We'll change up the music up. My goodness. Wait, why did my controls not work, Olivia? I can't bring them. There we go. The sticky mode test is crashed. There we go. My goodness, Olivia. Thank you for the $69. But again, why would you give me the money before the emotional breakthrough parts? You fools. You just, you I, don't do it. Just, I'll do this stuff every week. I love you, Olivia. Um, Ridgy, if you're listening, dear, um, please, if you want to get involved today, why don't you just log on and, um, just go hang out at round, just go, just drive around. Um, maybe someone cool in our community will give you some time. If they don't, I'll go, because they, they should have been building a relationship with you, dear. After all, you, you are so important to all this, aren't you? Is right, Ridgy? But they don't know that. Isn't that neat? My goodness, Ridgy. They really don't know anything about you. I mean, so until they've, you know, shown you some love, you don't have to reveal the meta. But dear, you can reveal as much as the meta as you like. I don't care. Meta is love. Once you know my story, feel free to tell it. I don't care. I will just come up with something else. Because for me, and I have to thank my friend Purple for really teaching me this by letting me make a big mistake this week. I really learned a lot of these concepts from a mistake. I made this song that we're listening to from this mistake. Because from like the weird inspiration that comes from... Ah... Uh, just a sad pain. Hmm. Lost my train of thought. Because I started thinking about a friend. I'm going to be Monica Rupert. She's fun. We're going to be doing Monica and Moogly. It's a day off in the city. Reggie, Reggie knows the meta of a lot of this nonsense. It's all fun and memes, isn't it, Reggie? Isn't it fun to do this enchanting, spooky nonsense? And slowly over time, you go, damn, there's nothing spooky about this. Rob's role playing an evil character who's meta. And my only purpose is to help the creators succeed. Isn't that fun? 
I'm like a maelstrom. Now I'm not really like maelstrom. He would be like the boss of all this nonsense. And I would save him for the new realm. No, no, but I'm like a maelstrom, right? I know the meta. We let's hit the spooky bell. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Ooh. It's like mama love and management is real or something. This is nonsense. <laughs> <sighs> this is gonna be a fun year, guys. See, um, I'm just practicing, and that's what's neat about this. It's like Digital Bard's energy. If I'm just practicing, then this is all non-content. If it's all non-content, then I don't mind taking risks. And if I don't mind taking risks, then I don't mind doing nonsense at a higher level over and over and over and over again. My goodness. All right. So I'm get the show going. We stuck in the rhythm. Lost in the rhyme, stuck in the loop, my goodness, stuck in one time. Mm. I love this park. This park is nostalgia to me, and nostalgia is the bane of creativity. I learned that lesson, oh my god, like 10 years, or a row, 10, 10 years ago. Let me tell you the story. I made a cartoon called Escapist Magazine. No, I made a cartoon before Escapist Magazine called Unforgotten Realms. It was probably the first real thing I really cared about. And it was meta from the very beginning. It was two characters playing role-playing characters. And what was interesting is I never had enough time to actually work on it. I was always rushing it. So the whole thing was improvised and I was just pretending like I wasn't improvising it. Because I don't know, I was embarrassed. I thought in order to make good art, you had to, uh, try hard so i so i pretended like i did um but obviously there's no way you, you could do that fast because like how do you how do you animate a cartoon every week voice it mix it and animate it in a week you you have to role play it so it's interesting because my life has now just become uh, a, a weaver of nonsense right i've been telling stories my whole life that um all i've now all i now do is improvise them and so now I'm at a point where I'm like, my goodness, I retired. I sang my digital bard song and I flipped the coin and it came up tails. But for some reason, I'm happier than I've ever been before. Neat. Neat that I can role play to lose and win. Role play is so powerful. Hmm. I love Mirror Park. It is nostalgia. Nostalgia is the bane of creativity. Every time you listen to this song, oh my goodness, dear, you're being cursed to me. I'm telling you so you know what's happening to you, and that doesn't actually make it better. It probably actually makes it worse. Um, but I just want you to be aware of uh, being cursed. Because uh, if you love the meta, then you love my art. And if you love my art, then you kind of love me. Because if you don't, then fuck that art. Like, if you, don't, if, you don't, if you don't like the artists as a human being, don't waste your fucking time and energy supporting them. Because you're just supporting someone who's putting toxic energy in the universe. Right? Just, that's the problem with corporate art. Is it's created without artists. I mean, artists get paid to do it, but they, uh... Ugh. They, they get stuck. Like, it's so easy to get demotivated. God, they spend so much time trying to keep artists motivated, and my goodness, what if you just had them perpetually motivated? What if what if you create the environment, but where before corporate money comes in, you just teach them they never needed it, because they never really did. Hmm. There's so many streamers that don't need corporate money, but they don't know how to have the content. Hmm. I mean, I could sell what I know, or I could just give it away. That's interesting. Where's my car? Uh, I don't want to just summon in thin air. We'll commit to the bit. We'll walk over there to the garage, pretend- Oh, you fucking bitch! I can't believe you ruined my nice moment! You! God damn it! 
Oh, my ankle. Luckily, I'm a vampire, so I'm just gonna walk that off. Mm -mm -mm. Megan's working on art, so when she's done, uh, we'll do some uh, moogly Megan. So, so what do we do, VP? Next, ma'am. See, I'm actually. This is my show. Hello, I'm Monica of Monica and Moogly. Technically, I think Moogly is the main character because, like, let's be honest, in, um, in a worldwide audience, the dog is going to be way more popular than. Um, I don't know. I could be pretty popular. I am like a vampire, you know. I got the sex appeal thing, so that that really is marketable. Wait, shit, am I just a marketable character? Ah, oh, crap. Hmm. Oh, right, my car was parked here. Great. <laughs> well, time to drive around. Let's see who's in the city. Now, technically, my job doesn't start till eight. Oh, this guy's in the city. Let's go meme on him. Hold on. I'm just gonna fucking run him over before he can figure it out. Shit, he's watching the stream. Where is he? 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 The show hasn't started and nobody else is in. So if nobody else is in, then I don't have to pretend like um, I'm not how as powerful as I am. So hold on. Shit, shit, shit. He's on that roof or something, isn't he? Where is he? Slash map. Slash names. Where is he? Shit, I need all the power. Shit, where is he? There he is. Fucking hell, okay. All right, where's that new fucking gun we're trying out tonight for the bit? A uh, weapon rail gun. All right, cool. Ah, uh, this is not a very good texture. Somebody could do a better texture than me, but I don't care. It's pink. Um, you're not allowed to have these in roleplay because they're way overpowered. But, um, this is roleplay, and also it doesn't matter because people over everything, so shh. I'm gonna nuke this nerd with a railgun, and then we'll do some real roleplay, but fuck that. We're gonna have fun first. The story hasn't started. Oh, where the fuck is he? Come out, nerd! I know you ain't here! Shit, I could've sworn he was in here. God damn it. He's invisible, so I have to roleplay he's not there. But we all fucking know he's there, coward. Alright. Guess I gotta do some actual roleplay. I don't know, having fun with my community sounds- Whoa, my god, that's his car! <laughs> this fucking- Oh, you think you're so funny? Yeah, he knows I'm here. Thanks for watching the stream, asshole! Here's what I think of your fucking car, Polly, you piece of shit! Yeah, there's another roleplay chore. Oh shit, I didn't even blow it up. What the fuck? Oh shit, he's coming. I'm getting out of here. Shit, 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 shit. Oh shit, 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 shit. <laughs> I better get the fuck out of here. I can't believe his car didn't blow up. Shit. Sorry, dear. I wouldn't get out of here if I was you. Let's turn off names and map. I mean, I don't want to reveal too much meta. Whew, okay. Now, time for you guys to ask to answer this question. Oh shit, what the fuck? Is somebody shooting at me? Oh my god, I'm being attacked! What is this shit? <laughs> what is this? Oh god! Oh god, somebody call the cops! Jesus Christ! What the fuck? Why is why are locals fun? Jesus Christ, okay, I ran around that nerd. Alright. Alright, good. Good. Cool. Fun. I just feel like a badass. Can I drive at night? Ah, uh, sure. It feels like nighttime. Wait, how long does time last in roleplay? Wait, there is no real answer? Oh, okay. Then, uh, yeah, I guess it's nighttime. Ah, time to go home. Interesting. Oh, shit. Oh, God, that hurt. I looked away to look at chat because I care about you guys more than the content. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, that fucked mama up. Hold on, I didn't sit down. What's my sit? What is it, sit three, you think? I don't, I don't know what my sit is. Do I sit three? I don't know if I sit three. Sit four? That's pretty Monica, I guess. What, what would Monica's sit be, champ? Okay? <laughs> oh, yeah, dear, I just crashed. Oh, shit. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. I almost blew up. Yeah, your car's on fucking fire, nerd! Yeah, I know, you see that? I, I just, um, you know, I had, to, I had to see if I could fix before it blew up. Yeah. Oh, hi, by the way, I'm Mama, I'm Monica Rupert from Mama Loving Management. Um, you're not here to rob me, are you? No, no, not at all, no, I was, uh, I was just having a nap and I heard someone yelling at me and then I heard a big boom. Oh, yeah, that, uh, that's interesting, wow. I had a similar experience where I was driving in a car and crashed everything and someone went boom. That wasn't oh, you, That's was weird. it? 
No, it wasn't me. No, I, I was literally so I was I was trying to have a nap and I had the TV on with this guy his name of Rob TV, and uh, I heard him uh, and I, uh, Rob TV. I have Who? no idea. Yeah, Rob TV. Okay, why, why are you promoting something? I'm not on. I'm not on camera. No, dear, my show doesn't start show. tonight. That's the show I was watching. So well, I, I don't care what show. What does this have to do? I thought you well, were helping I'm me. I'm telling you. You're just, I'm just telling you the I story. I don't okay? give a shit about what you were doing today, dear. I'm um, okay. also. We should probably oh, call someone about this okay. car being on fire. Um. Hmm. I, I, I don't know what to call that. Oh my call, god! That buster? fucking billboard. That goes this week. Fuck that shit. Oh, yes. Yeah, we should probably get rid of that. Uh, you know what? Cobalt, no. cobalt, 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 cobalt. Thank you, dear. Fuck that shit. Mama's cleaning up this city. Every time she sees a problem, she's getting it fixed. Every time. Hmm. That's good. Good. Cleaning up is good. Makes more room for the Cokes and Skeddies, you know? Cokes and... Woo! Now you're talking my language. Cokes and Skeddies. You don't have any, uh... You're talking about cocaine, right? Yeah, yeah, no. I'm all out of the white stuff. I could use some more, you know? Ah, oh, shit, now, I was hoping you could get me some of the white stuff. So, this... No, uh, you know, I wish I could. Mm. I, I've been mm. looking for some, though. I think I'm, I'm gonna try to find some today. I just ran out yesterday, so... Okay, well, uh, if you find any, dear, uh, you know, uh, if you are if you could be discreet, I would be interested in acquiring some of your cocaine and cocaine accessories. Oh my god, that's okay. a good one. That, that is a good one. Cocaine and before. cocaine. I've never heard of that. I just thought of it now. Cocaine and cocaine accessories. That is a bit for anyone. Cocaine. Yeah, I, defi and I definitely never hey, said my that. My name is. My name is. What's his name? Hank. Spank. My name is Spank who's, who's Bill. Hank? Spank Bill. My name is Spank Bill, and I sell cocaine and cocaine accessories. My yeah, I goodness, I don't, dear. I don't, I don't do you even think? Know who Spank Bill is. But... Well, let's just see if we meet him today. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. Spank Bill. Sounds, sounds like All right, a I need to go. Because okay, you see creep me out. You're just a weirdo who pulled over and started smoking in front of me. But I mean, if you can sell me drugs, that's neat. Call me at 555 5555 if you, I don't Shit, know. Let me, let me yeah. write that down once. Oh, Jesus second. Christ. Come on. It's on every billboard in town. Five, except five, that five, one where that's where five, it'll be five, next week. Because that's the bit. And that's all that really matters is people. Mm hmm. My goodness. What is this energy? Is this the power of the Super Saiyan? No, dear. This is something new. This is like Sun Dragon God. I haven't transformed yet, but I mean the duality of these timelines is often bewildering, so it's almost like I don't have to. Wee! Should I need to get my windows fixed? Hmm. Let's drive to my house. See if there's a mechanic. Five 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 five. I don't even say the right number of fives. That's the funniest part of this enough nonsense. Oh, look, there's so many friends in town. Chris Grum, good to see you. Johnner, safety wizard. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm the meta nonsense. Everyone's going to realize this is the best show um, because we don't, we don't actually do content. We teach it. So, you know, let's get some party music on. I think it's the daytime. Stop, Grum, why are you mod? Jesus Christ. By the way, in the meta, if anyone ever asks why I'm talking out loud to my stream, um, I'm just gonna pretend that you guys work for me. I guess... I don't know, I'm gonna come, I'll come up with a bit when I need to come up with a bit. I don't actually care about lore, I just mix it. That's not true. I care about other people's lore. So if you go to hackmonica.robtv, you will actually see that there's a lot of lore I keep track of. And, I mean, technically some of it is mine because I'm included in it, but it's not really my lore. I just kind of keep track of the stuff other people do. That relates to me. Because meta is love, and so, you know, if you want to be a better role player, you would focus on the meta. And meta is love, and love is a weapon, so if you can figure out the keys to your friend's heart, you can dunk on them and role play. Isn't that funny? You want to be the best role player in the world? Okay, make a bunch of friends, and then, um, that's it. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. You just gotta make a bunch of friends. And you really have to be friends over content. See, that's the problem that all content creators fall into, dear. At some point, all the cool content creator groups, well, they just start bringing in, like, random people who are maybe powerful, but aren't very considerate or respectful or nice. And then they all just cause drama and end up fighting and destroy the friendships. So... We're gonna go meta, and instead of, you know, um... 
Just making content creator groups so I can make a bunch of fat little piggies that I gotta feed all the time with good shows. No, we're gonna teach them to become content creator teachers because then we get to be the meta. We get to be in the community of the teachers of the content creating. Neat. This show's too meta for me. Why didn't you smoke weed? <laughs> I'm too focused. I'm too laser focused. I need to be like a little stoned. Hold on, I'm gonna call shit I don't nobody for this yet. God damn it. Hey, Grim, were you playing tonight? You guys can jump in at any time, you know? <coughs> um, don't feel like you need to jump in at early, because as you can see, I don't need anyone to jump in. We can just hang out and we can talk all day. And then the roleplay can start when the roleplay starts. I'm just creating the fun atmosphere that wants to get you invited. And I realized I had this power when last year I could jump on the crew RP when there was 10 people, you know, and we could just reignite that energy, you know? And the cool thing is with roleplays, you don't really need a lot of people. If you have five really good friends, um, you can go into any game. And if you're all just really focused on making each other laugh, then you have a good time. That's why so many content creator groups that are always so popular, um, it's always about that friendship level, you know? And a lot of that friendship level truly is false. Because this, and, and then I can, and I can prove it. You want me to prove it? I can prove it. You want me to prove it? You want me to prove that all of these friend groups are fake at some level? I can prove it. Because they are not people over characters over stories you're not if you are if you are in a role play situation and you have the chance to develop that relationship or make a selfish character choice and you choose your selfish character choice then oh you just solved the meta didn't you neat but i mean it's, you can just change your mind right now you just use right now you just be like okay fuck that Anytime I am making a choice, you know, for content creation, I will think, who are the people with me? Who are the people around me? Uh, would, would I hurt them for this bit? Is this worth it? You can meme responsibly. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna go get my other sports car. This one's got broken windows. Since I know the meta, I know there's no cops, so you nerds can't pull me over, because basically this is just a day to troll the teacher. You just haven't figured that out yet. Um, I mean, it's okay, but I mean, you're, once you do, you're gonna have a lot more fun. Jesus! And I'm gonna, because I like being put in a box, and I like you guys creating this fake stress for me, because if friends are creating that fake stress for me, and there's a lot of trust, then it just means top tier content. So, cool. I don't even have to try. But I am trying, which is fun. Because I like to try. I like to try hard. Neat. I haven't read anything in chat. Um, this is because I'm not actually people stories, people character stories. Um, I'm trying to be. I wish I was the moniker Rupert of 2019. The pure of white hat character. I try so hard to be. I committed to a bit to, to do it. And I hope when the bit's over that I continue this philosophy of mindset that I never really ever make art again. Because I don't care. I would rather just make art with you guys. Because, my goodness, if I make you art, then it just makes me more powerful. <laughs> my goodness, this is nonsense. I wasn't even trying to be powerful. Now I feel like I have to do it, so it's like, ugh. Ugh, I didn't want to be the captain. I wanted to be the talent. And then I solved the meta, and then I realized, oh my goodness, there can't be any talent. All the talent has to be teachers, and if they don't want to be teachers, then Mom will have to cut them. We'll see if they figure it out on their own. I don't tell people things, I just speak. And I only really give them advice if they ask for it. Hmm. We need to get the fucking drugs in me. We're way too lucid. What? Grum, why are you talking about poop in my chat? 
When you get a game grum, at some point, your character is getting punched by me. I don't know how. I'm just letting you know. Okay, Bubble can talk about poop. Grum, he can't talk about poop. I was just, I don't actually really care if Grum talks about poop. I was just coming up with a meme reason to punch him later. No poop! We do have a pill for that at Rob TV. I think it costs $4.99. Hmm. I hate how when you go in first person, you're like, ugh. <coughs> Call on there. Thank you for gifting a sub to Moogly. Wait, who's Moogly? Did you just randomly find that on Twitch? That's funny. Bomber with the 27 months. And Noddle, thanks for gifting a sub to Ridge. Mm. Let's cheat. Let's look at the meta. Oh. Okay. Should we go bother her? No, 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 no. We'll play nice. Let's not overwhelm. We'll let the little mice come to us one by one. We're gonna go mall walking though. Mall walking. Mall walking! Gertrude, get out and go mall walking! Log on right now! Gertrude, I'm going to the mall! I'm speaking through the fourth wall to you, so get your butt to the wall! But why would Gertrude be at the mall? I don't know, she needed new pants. You come up with a reason why you got pants. Ah, fuck it, I'm taking a shortcut, I'm gonna get a parachute. This doesn't make sense to do a roleplay, but it's fun for you guys, so fuck it, you know? I only have to try hard when people have stories and they want me to try hard. If there's nobody around to have stories with, then I'm just gonna be with you people, or we're supposed to do fun memes. Because I'm like the Deadpools, I'm the meta, so it's... Nonsense. By the way, I was on the Kurop the other day as Cheeto. And, um, I did this, I, I was doing this crime. <coughs> there, was, there was too many cops. We had like 30 people in line, there was 17 cops. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go do a crime. And I convinced Citra to come do it with me. And we were doing like the Doug bit, but I remixed it and I was doing pauses. Hi, I'm a girl. Hi, I'm a robber girl. Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm paused and I'm robbing people. I feel like I'm doing the voice better than I was doing it. And it was so funny because like Levito pulled up and I was like, I don't want Levito of all the cops to pull up Levito. I just role played with you all day yesterday. <laughs> it was funny because um, I went to go do this bit and we ended up getting caught and then everybody was so generous that they let me take a cop hostage and escape. And we were ready to like continue that story, but uh, then the cops got super busy. But that's kind of cool. So they, it was kind of cool because it was like, I didn't care because I was just like, I'm just doing this for my friends because they need some action and I can help them create some action for their streams and stuff. And the thing is, if I had cared about my character or story or whatever, what am I looking for? Oh, a parachute. That's right. If I, if I cared about my character or story or whatever, then I wouldn't have been really doing that type of stuff. And like, I know in roleplay, we want everything to be real, but we want it to be roleplay. It's the realness should just come from, you know, the friendships. I think I think the roleplay gets more real when you're able to know people more and read their cues, you know? Why, thank you, Bubbles. Bubbles, you want to know something really cool? I'm getting a really lewd photo painted by uh, painted of me. I'm going to be putting in this closet. I'll put it right over there. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to get something lewd there. And then, when I'm feeling really naughty... I'm gonna get into myself. Whee! Because it's actually a magic painting that goes to this door or something. I don't know, dude. I just connected this door because I had teleported tech. I didn't put a lot of thought into this, okay? I mean, I did, but I was at a meta level. Not, not the actual story part. Like, if someone's ever like, I don't like that part of the story, Rob, I'll be like, okay, it's gone. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> That's the advantage of this. If you know the meta and you know meta's love, then you just try to fi figure out, um... What your friends like. Alright, there we go. Do you guys know I own a parachute company? <laughs> so we're resetting the um, skin system, so tomorrow I'll be able to start getting uh, clothes and stuff. I don't really have a lot of looks for Monica. I guess I can show you my looks before we go. Alright, I'll show you what I can wear. I have a- I'm, all these things are getting deleted, so I guess I might as well show you these bits. I mean, you've seen most of them, so... So this is my normal Monica look. Um, this is important that I wear this a lot because it kind of makes people think that I'm Monica Rupert, but I'm not. Um, I don't care if you know who I am, though. That's up to you. Do you love my meta? <laughs> okay. Um, 
I mean, you just asked me and I'll spoil it for you, but then it wouldn't be fun. Okay, so this one's good. This one's like the gangster one. This is what I gotta do gangster shit because people want to do gangster stories. I'm gonna pretend to be the gangster character. Hmm. <coughs> oh, next week, Monica will be perpetually smugged. That'll be so funny. There we go. This is the gangster walk. This is so. This is come on, like chat. Is this the best? Hold on, let's get appropriate music. Um, I don't have gang. Oh, I do. Elite five. This this is the most gangster one, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Who knows this song in chat? Who knows the meta? I had an artist make this song for me. Who knows where it came from? Papa Willy. That's right. You know? You guys might meet Papa Willy tonight. He might be coming to the city. No spoilers or nothing. But old Papa Willy, he might come back. I'm just, I'm just, I'm not, I'm just not creating too much hype. I just know the meta, so I know when I can create just the right amount of hype. Hey, no spoilers, but I'm just saying. It's pretty cool. It's not like I'm really playing anything. I knew I got something planned, but it's not even really a story, right? Because I don't make stories and I don't make characters. So isn't that interesting? What could I have possibly planned if I'm not making a story and I'm not making a character and I'm focused purely on people? Ooh, that's interesting. That's sexy. We find out in one hour and seven minutes. What is the nonsense that is going on today? We don't know. We're watching, but we have no idea. What are we watching? We're watching somebody walk around and just go in an infinite loop of nonsense. But why is it interesting? I don't know. Maybe the music's a jam. Yeah, it's the music. Yeah, it's definitely that music. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. This is from uh, Lords of Minecraft. It was used for the black market and Papa Willy vibes. Um, this arrogant walk, though, I think this is the walk for gangsters. If you think something's better, I mean, I haven't committed to this bit. And that's the thing, dear. I don't make characters in stories, so I guess you decide what Monica really is. <laughs> Hi, my name really isn't Monica Rupert. You could just call me the Queen of Chaos, though. Neat. Ooh, let's have a wine. Danny, are you there? You want to go ahead and pick a wine for us? Hmm. I mean, I could. I'll do it. Ooh. Let's see. Hacked up, Monica. So I do this lovely thing. Whenever I kill somebody's character, I turn them into a bottle of wine. This is, lets me write it down in a spreadsheet, which lets me keep track of the times they give to me a character. Now, a lot of these characters are throwaways, okay? A lot of these characters are nonsense garbage characters. They're big characters that, that nobody cares about, but I care about them because I know that meta is love. And if meta is love, that meta in roleplay is a weapon. So today we're gonna be drinking to, let's say, my good friend Biomart. We're gonna have a new liquor. It is called the, um, ooh, I haven't named it yet. Exciting. A cute guy named Eugene. Ooh, this was for the dark metal story. What will we call this wine? This O positive wine here. Hmm. I need to log into Monica's computer. I need to extend this song. Oh, you know what's really cool? Music made uh, music this week. Can we play music uh, song? She she got so inspired from last week's cop show that she made music. Um, let me go ahead and find that real quick. What's Citra DM in me? Um, can um. <laughs> Can I get a mod to help me by putting my game to Grand Theft Auto? I don't have the stream up, so if you guys could do that for me, that would really help a lot. Uh, anyway, hold on. I mean, I'll play this on second, because I gotta, I gotta focus. I got DMs now. You guys are filling up my DMs. Why are you filling up my DMs? You're filling up my DMs with love. Stop that! You guys know I'm streaming. Don't just send me hearts in my DMs. God damn it. Guys, if we're gonna be people over, um, content, we'll just, can we just call people over content? People over characters over stories? Can we, for the love of God, you know, realize that time is, like, important? Just stop giving me love until it's called for. Till Mama says, mmm, feed Mama your love. Give me that vampire. So who's love I'm gonna drink? It's Bio. 
Dark metal. Dark de metal. Dark test. Dark test. Metal test. Metal test. Hilarious name for a wine since wine kind of tastes or blood tastes metallic. So we're drinking a bottle of a cute guy named Eugene. Um, what do we call on this stream? We'll call it Return of Willy. I like making notes. Wait, why am I missing a glass? I'm missing a glass of my wine. I guess I randomly drank it to keep track of why I drank it. Damn. Damn. You know, so here's the thing. If Monica Rupert is a big city character, and I play Monica Rupert, and I'm starting to make reward people for killing their random characters they don't kill her about because they're just committing to the bit, and I'm making a list of all their wines and stuff they care about, then inevitably, people will want Monica to kill their big characters because they'll just want to be turned into bottles of wine to be celebrated. God damn, this meta's too deep. It's too I'm way ahead of the curve. Meta is love, so meta's a weapon. If I love your dumb characters more than you love mine, then I'm gonna win in this new world. If the rules have changed and it is no longer characters and stories over people, but people over characters and stories, then whoever can love each other the most wins, nerds. And I'm way ahead of the game because I'm hugging you all extra hard. <laughs> my goodness. Hmm. Why did I bring my glass of wine into the bathroom? It's the only mirror. I need to get a better mirror in here. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'm just going to pour this down the toilet. Nobody tell Biomart that I didn't drink his wine and dumped it down the toilet. Don't tell him. <laughs> meta is love, dear. So meta is a weapon. <laughs> I can turn you into wine and then dunk on you on stream. Oopsie. And then you love it. That's the best part. Because when you start to get to this level of friendship, then you can start to actually joust with each other at the higher level. The level 20 dungeon? My goodness, and I wonder what level I am. <laughs> I mean, I've been doing this nonsense for 13 years, and my bed is so much deeper, and I'm so ahead of the curve, and now I'm playing with an open hand. You have to be very cocky to play on an open hand. All right, this is nonsense. I have loot outfits, but I'm going to the mall. I'm going to the mall. Is there people at the mall? There's nobody at the mall. Okay, it's fine. I don't have to go to the mall. I only had to go to the sea. I only had to go to the mall if people were waiting for me at the mall because I said my main character was going to the mall. But since nobody is setting up anything at the mall, I don't have to go to the mall. I can go back and put on lewd outfits. Let's make sure the server knows. Um, wait, what's the sexy music called? I changed it the other day. Why did I just change it? Damn. Well, I know the other sexy song, so let's, so let's use that. Guys, I need to sort my music. My goodness, this is a dumb meme. Wait, what? That is this fucking idiot. He's gonna fucking get it. What is he doing right now? He's fucking doing nothing. He fuck, you wanna mess? It's I'm the showrunner, asshole. This is disrespectful to the showrunner. Weapon, rail gun. Fucking go roleplay! You know this asshole is just sitting here watching my fucking stream when we have other people he could be loving. Fucking get out of here! Just fucking die! Perma! Perma, bitch! Perma! I wanna see you perma! Yeah, I wanna see you perma! Go non cannon! Go not do I will run the intro and then perma you! You better perma for me, dog! Perma! Perma! That's right! It's fucking dead! Wait, he's still alive! Son of a bitch, what are you, a zombie? How many times? Oh, like, I'm gonna put this right next to your fucking skull, Polly, and I think you're gonna die. Here, ready for one of Mama's final kisses? Whoa, Jesus, where are you going? Son of a bitch! Don't move, I don't know how to aim this shit! Here, let Mama kiss you! Shit! Fuck it, I'm stealing your car! Fucking go do something, it's my day! Stop having fun or keep doing it, I don't care, this is amusing either way. I mean, I'll, I'll roleplay when you guys want to roleplay, but if you don't want to roleplay, then my goodness, I'm just going to have fun with friends. You guys let me know when you're level for 20, level 20, dear. <laughs> this is nonsense. Shit. Got a fucking phone call. I'm carrying a goddamn illegal weapon. Hello, Monica Rupert speaking. 
Oh shit, um, let's Mr. Rupert. I, How oh, do you have my, my phone number? Oh, Fuck, excuse me. So fucking... You son of a bitch. Oh, there are other that. people in this project to go love and hug. What did I say for you before the show? Mr. Why Rupert. are you talking on the fucking phone? I don't, I don't know. Let, Get Mr. out of here. Rupert, do you want me to break the metamorph? Huh? You keep fucking me up there my naps, Mr. Rupert. Do you want to break the metamorph? Huh? I'm not That's breaking, right. You're breaking the metamorph. You're breaking my immersion. You're, I, it's you're my day and you're no, breaking, you're breaking my, immersion. my immersion. Oh, you're, how oh, dare geez. you, oh, Spider-Man me. That's it. You're going to sleep, dear. Bye, Mr. Rupert. No, it's too late, dear. You're going to. You shouldn't drive and go to sleep. Oh, goodness me. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't drive away. You're you're gonna be falling asleep, dear. Sorry about that. <laughs> Don't you oh, run me over, you son of a bitch! Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh my goodness. Well, that's my job done. I death stared him, so he's gonna be asleep for a while. Sometimes the people in this project go too fast and I need to put them to sleep. So I created a way to put them to sleep. I thought that would be meta clever. Also, it'll teach them as content creators how to depower. Because, I mean, I can create infinite power in you and hype, but unfortunately that means you'll get so excited, roleplay way too much, and then stay up all night thinking about roleplay and not sleep. So I thought ahead and just, you know, made it so I could do that too. This song's too quiet. I'm gonna boost it because I might need this song later. Hey, why, why can't I do my emote? What's, what's going on? Hmm. My macros aren't working. Hey, what's going on with my macros? I don't think I can volume higher. Yeah. Is the, it's at the max. Oh, no, it's not. Good. Thank you, Danny. I thought it was at the max. Maybe it resets. It probably resets every time I log in. That's what's going on. All right. Stuck in the rhythm. Stuck in the rhyme. Stuck without passion. Stuck without time. I choose this path. I choose this light. The only choice now is to choose when Moogla comes in. Moogla, when you come in town, are you understand your map? Moogla's working on a map, guys. Then we have fun. The show doesn't start for like an hour or so, you know. I'll tell everybody the show doesn't start for like an hour. Watch this. Next show. There we go. Hmm. I think kind of lags. My computer's not- wait, am I still streaming at 90 FPS? God damn it. I fucking- I'm definitely streaming at- I'm streaming at 90 FPS! Ah. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> well, thank you for coming to the stream. Um, I gotta turn off 90 FPS, so, um... We're gonna raid Citra. Is he stream- is he- is he live? Who- who's live? Who actually got on? Who can I actually raid? Did any of them? Do I have to hug somebody else? Boom Daba! Boom Daba's on the crew! We're gonna raid Boom! I mean, just to say hi to Boom. Tell Boom I'm dumb. Alright, I'll see you guys in a few minutes, but go say hi to my friend Boom. He's on this project and he's fantastic, so go check him out. Wait, Buttons is on? Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I loaded up the- I loaded up the crew RP. That's <laughs> root. Old habits die hard. Oh, good. If Buttons is thing, then I want you guys to meet Buttons. It's okay. I've hugged Boom a million times this month. He knows I love him. I haven't hugged Buttons enough. So come say hi to Buttons for a second, guys. We might- we're gonna bump into her later tonight. We're gonna be right back. <laughs> 